Can we please be honest about the fact that the number of suicides from black people is exploding? Black people, can we be honest about that? Is depression still something you can simply just get over? Is suicide still selfish? Well, then how many more? How many more then? How many more then? Welcome to my channel. I am Frontenay. And today I am coming to you again with my message of suicide awareness, mental health awareness, African American people treating their mental health more seriously. How many more lives do we need to lose before we start taking mental health more serious? This beautiful woman, Chesley Christ, accomplished educated and very loved has lost her battle with depression and the fact that she is African American either in full or in part is not lost on me black people have this toxic relationship with our mental health that we have had for so long and this toxic relationship is so deadly when will we stop suffering from this treatable illness by acting as if it's not real? Acting as if what we've been doing is going to work. It is not. Can we please be honest about the fact that the number of suicides from black people is exploding? Black people, can we be honest about that? Is depression still something you can simply just get over? Is suicide still selfish? Well, then how many more? How many more then? How many more then? Well, how many more then? If someone you love is showing signs that they may not be okay, they might not be okay. Please check on them. Here are some of the things to look for. If they are saying things like, I don't want to live anymore. I can't take this hurt anymore. Don't think they're being dramatic. Don't treat it as if they're not serious. They very well may be. Treat it as an emergency because it is an emergency. Or if they are suddenly giving away their possessions or saying very, final sounding goodbye. Do not ignore that. Treat it as an emergency because it is an emergency. I have left some resources below. Please use them. For those who have said to me so many times that suicide is selfish, we'll ask these families if they agree. Your ignorance can kill. Ask the loved ones of Chesley Christ. Is suicide selfish? Ask Regina King if suicide is selfish. Ask her about her son, her baby, her only child, Ian Alexander Jr. Ask her if suicide is selfish. Ask Sinead O'Connor about her son, Shane Looney. Ask her if suicide is selfish. Ask the parents of Jeffrey Taylor. Ask them if suicide is selfish. Ask the parents of Seven Bridges. Ask if suicide is selfish. The list of names I could say is a list far too long. Talking about mental health, facing the facts, and destroying the stigma saves lives. Acting like it is not a real thing 
or it's not a big deal, causes more lives to be lost. Do better. My message is not for those suffering. It's for those around those who are suffering. You could be the difference between celebrating them at their next birthday or celebrating the anniversary of their death. If you are not sure how to help your loved one, there are professionals available that can help you help them. Again, I have resources listed below. Please use them. And if you are suffering with feelings of suicide, you are not alone. Please seek help immediately. I have posted a suicide prevention video. Please click the link right here to watch it and then share it. This message is too urgent for it to not be shouted from the rooftops. Not one more life. Not one more life. Not one more life. You are loved. You are needed. I am here. Please fight. Be mindful of how you allow others to handle you and forgive yourself for how you handle you. Please consider becoming a part of my village. I think you'll like it here. Until next time.